um, songs that I wouldn't sing about or topics that I wouldn't sing about. Siguro, songs or messages that I don't necessarily believe in. Para mga ganyan. Like, I can't sing a song about... Hmm. Ang dami. Pero, most of the time, hindi pa ako pinpoint na ano eh, but most of the time po, I don't really sing songs na hindi ko nakikita yung sarili ko. Yan talaga. It's very important for me na although technically I'm able to sing it, it still should represent who I am as a person, what I believe in, and who I am as an artist. Hindi kailangan na pinagdaanan ko na but yung kumbaga, does it align with, with who I am and what I represent. Para mga naman. Uh, and, if, and if there's a song na na-turn down ko na, yes po. There have been many songs na na-turn down ko na. Um, it's not always because I don't like the message sometimes. Feeling ko lang, sinasabi ko kay Sir Jonathan, may mga songs din na binigay sa akin na um, sinabi ko, Sir John, parang feeling ko mas bagay ito kay ganitong artist. Ganyan, ganyan. Na, you also have to think about the song. Na, hindi mo, hindi ka pwede maging selfish na just because you wanna sing it, you're gonna sing it. Kahit nakikita mo naman na, that this would be more effective kung kunwari si, si Moira yung kumanta or kunwari effective po ito pag grupo yung kumanta para maging ganun ako ang klase ng songwriter. Hindi lang tira ng tira. Na, Okay, thanks. I'm happy with your answer. <laughs> Thank you, both. And we got our last question. BJ Sam. Our killer question will come from Alex Brosa. Oh, my God. Right oh, right yes. Hello. 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 Hello, Casey. And hello, Mela. Okay. Uh, having uh, heard your song, I think it's about insecurity. Is my observation valid? It could also be, kasi ako ang type na tao, dahil mga bagay na feeling ko hindi ko kaya gawin. And yun nga, feeling ko hindi ko deserve yung kind of love na binibigay sa akin ng asawa ko. And although, um, feeling ko sobra-sobra yung pagmamahal niya, um, thankful po ako. Thankful po ako. Siguro, tama nga, no? It's also, it's also showing my insecurity na, na Sometimes people tell me I don't deserve him, but yun nga, like I also say in the in the song, I chamba man versus ja, yung pagbigay sa akin ng ng pagkakata or ng pagkinaon kay DJ, I won't take this for granted. Uh, I also observe that the song is about subtle boasting, kasi para you, you are so proud, you are so proud of your, so proud of your <laughs> ano parang dito ka na para makita ka niya para para ma 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 na na I was the chosen one humble brother ah uh, parang ganun ba yun? actually this morning I'm just really really proud na na may ganitong klaseng pag-ibig pala na if napansin niyo nga po dun sa kanta it doesn't necessarily talk about a him or a her or ano yung kumbaga pag, pag hinimay niyo I even say them because I want also people in the future, or if narinig po nila yung kanta na to, na sana maka-experience din sila ng ganitong kind of love. Na ah, sobrang hindi ko maintindihan kung saan ang gagaling yung pag-ibig na to, na kahit alam ko minsan sobrang hindi ako ka mahal-mahal, mahal pa rin niya ako. Sana, ma sana ma-experience ng lahat ko, kaya ko naisulat yung, yung dito ka na. Yeah, if it comes off as boastful, then eh, syempre iba-iba naman po ng interpretation ng mga tao. But ako, yung nararamdaman ko, and yung mindset ko, nung sinulat ko yung kantang to, I'm just really happy about where my relationship is right now, and how it's helping me. And yun nga po siguro, subtly, pero it also touches about my insecurity, but talking about it in the song is also a growth for me because not a lot of people open sa pag, pag sabi nila ng insecurity nila. Na, di ba, whenever something happens or kung parang may pag-ibig na dumating sa'yo, you would always justify, ah, you know, ako naman to, eh, deserve ko talaga yung love nila. 
But for me, and to be honest, and to, to write it, and to sing about it, but sometimes I feel like I don't deserve this kind of love is something I will be proud of. And if we really want to go there, I can be most full of, because growth is growth. Uh, most songs nowadays are always good songs. <laughs> and I don't see, I don't see it hitting the dead end. But what separates you from Google songs is that you make a vibrant and very energetic interpretation. Kasi may, meron kang ano eh, meron kang tawag uh, dito, Chosua. Uh, uh, is that tawag dito, sinasabiya? Just to make you different from other Google songs? Because mostly, yung mga songs mo, are good songs you give it a very energetic vibe. Uh, uh, is that deliberate? Hindi po. Actually, hindi ko nga, hindi, I, I never thought about it until you asked me one. Kasi usually, yung mga ko, even yung lago, yung mga pang heartbroken yung mga kanta eh. Yung hindi pa kalang po talaga, truly represents my season now, who I am right at this moment. Masaya po ako eh. So, you know, what better way to to share my happiness than through a song na, and music naman talaga yung talaga that represents happiness as a person. But not, not a conscious, we did not make a conscious decision to do something bright and, you know, dancey-dancey um, to separate you. But if it does that, then I think you At this <laughs> moment, the song is not going to I'm not being judgmental on this matter. I'm just interpreting. I know. I appreciate. Po. I appreciate your questions. And hindi lahat po din ng mga tao kaya magtanong ng mga tanong na to. So I appreciate that. I am the only one who can answer that. <laughs> Yes, what is it not all about? It's not all about... Well, <laughs> <laughs> what is it about? Well, it is not about letting go of the love. Now, sometimes I don't deserve you. It's not a you problem, it's a me. I think I don't deserve this kind of love. I will not be able to give you back whatever you're giving me. I'm not gonna be able to reciprocate equally what you're giving me. So I'm letting you go, I'm setting you free. This song doesn't talk about that. So I said to TJ, we're kasal na tayo. Wala na ang choice. Sabi. Pero, to, to answer the question seriously po, yun yung, yun yung ano na yun. I don't deserve this, but I'm gonna work on myself to become a better person for you. Para maramdaman, na, maramdaman mo naman na I'm trying to give you back what you're, even though you're not asking for anything in return, na I'm working hard to uh, give you more than you deserve. Thank you for being a sensible artist. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Alex. At kami niyo Alex na NSS kano kano na. And lahat mo ang guests dito. Talaga so na kalam na miss magconcert kini. Thank you po. So sana malapit na. Oh, correction na yung na NSS ah. I don't invest on emotions. Wow. Back to you, BJ Sam. I love it. So, does anybody else have questions for KZ, Sir John? Boss Mela. Boss Mela. No more? No, I'm going to ask you. Hi. Boss Mela. This is your D, Jonathan Manalo. Hi, Jonathan. If you don't have a chance, you're going to be a little bit of a problem. I'm going to be a little bit of a problem. I'm going to be a little bit of a problem. Again, thank you very much, lahat na nagpunta para sumuport sa pagong single ni Casey.
understand you things dito ka na ang streaming na ngayon from midnight abangan po ninyo yan of course it's written by Casey Tandingan produced by yours truly it's mixed by Jackie Boom and mastered by Jet Galindo at the Bakery USA yes thank you so much everyone okay tomorrow din po 6pm talaga sa mga official music videos sa Star Music YouTube channel so thank you so much for all your support and itayin po yung more songs coming from Casey this year so again so yes Casey yes thank you so much for God Please do share it with your friends and family. You know, I hope we all experience this kind of love that I've seen you about. Thank you, 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 Thank